Ashton here. Um, I hope you guys had a great 4th of July. As we dive into this week, I was just wondering if you guys could take the time to really think about what are you confident in? Who are you confident in? Um, for me, I can place my confidence into one of my best friends. I know that when I'm sad, I can just run to her for a hug and know that she's always going to be there for me. Uh, as we go into this week, you guys are going to learn about a story of Peter and where he places his confidence. Stay tuned. birthday party last week and I knocked the bar right off. So I'm gonna practice and get better. To do the limbo first, you have to put a bar up like this. Then you need fun music. 
Music player, Melody. Yes, Kai. Please play limbo music. Playing limbo music. Then you walk under the bar without knocking it down. Everyone, take a deep breath with me. Ready? Here it goes. Yeah, I did it. Do you think I can put the bar lower? Shout yes if you think I should go lower. Okay, let's try it. Here I go. Whew, that was close. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Who? Who? Doing the limbo, are you? I am, Ollie. I walked under the bar two times without knocking it down. That's some fancy walking. It's true. I know someone else who took an amazing walk, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Yep, that's going to be a problem. Oh, hello, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. Look at this. There's a hole in my toy boat. If I put this in the water, it would sink. <laughs> Which reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? Oh, great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with... Jesus! <laughs> While Jesus was here on earth, he did things to show us how much God loves us, how God hears us when we pray, and how God is always with us. And we can always trust God. Today's story is... about a time when Jesus showed his friend Peter that he can trust God. And it begins with... a boat on the water at night. Jesus' friends were out on the water when all of a sudden they saw something they had never seen before. They saw a person walking on water. Everyone say, what? Ready? What? Who can walk on the water? Well, the person got closer and closer and closer. The disciples were so afraid. <laughs> Show me your afraid face. <laughs> yes. And then all of a sudden, the person said, it's me. Don't be afraid. It was Jesus. <laughs> right away, Peter said, Jesus, if it's you, tell me to walk to you on the water. And Jesus said, come. Peter stepped out of the boat. And guess what? Peter started walking on the water too. But then Peter looked around and saw the wind. <gasps> He got scared and started to sink. But Jesus reached out and caught him so he wouldn't sink. Then they got back in the boat together. <laughs> Jesus showed Peter and the disciples that we can always trust God, even when scary things happen. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. See you next time.
<laughs> so there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus showed Peter how to trust God, and we can trust God too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow. Jesus showed Peter how to trust God when he stepped out of the boat and walked on water. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I'm going to keep walking under this limbo stick. Melody, let's limbo! I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5.